party people, your dreams have now been fulfilled. Bill. Get your ass up and let's get ill. Ill. That's right, y'all. We more than rough. rough. We're calling you bluff. bluff. And when it comes to rock, I see what that is on. Lima, Ohio is like barbered and on steroids, so I don't really think this is going on. So just, just discount this show. But uh, I took a job up here recently, and uh, pretty happy. I'm a big Cleveland sports fan, and uh, I'm just heartbroken over this whole Cavs thing. But uh, I came up with a pretty good analogy of what it's like to be a Cavs fan or a Cleveland fan in general. It's like when you go out to the bar with all your friends and you're having a good night playing some pool, you win a couple games, and then you uh, meet a girl, and she's way hotter than you. In my instance, she's like a seven. And you know you're going to close with this girl. And then the next thing you know, you wake up at two o'clock on Sunday morning in your bed wearing nothing but a pair of socks to 55 text messages. And you open up those text messages, and it's a picture of yourself that your roommate, my roommate Josh, took of me. And uh, <laughs> send it out to everybody, and uh, you realize that uh, you would have took this girl home except you did something stupid the night before. And what I did is I went up to the bar and I took the shot, the fumble, the drive, the ALCS, and the lebacle. Oh, that was better last week when I did it, I swear. But no. The reason, uh, do you guys hear the new rumor about why the Cavs lost this week? Delonte West, yes, exactly. Apparently, Delonte West is sleeping with LeBron James' mom, and that completely threw him off. Now, this isn't the first time Gloria James has been a distraction to uh, LeBron. In high school, she bought him a Hummer, and it brought him all this media coverage. Like, how's this high school kid who's poor, grown up in Akron, affording a Hummer? And Gloria bought him this Hummer. And now that he's older and LeBron has everything she wants, Gloria is deciding to give his teammates Hummers. I thought you might like that. But uh, no, and I don't understand really what LeBron's more upset about. Is it the fact that one of his teammates is sleeping with his mom? Or is it that one of his teammates is sleeping with a recovering 45-year-old drug addict? All I'm saying is when you're making that NBA paper, you don't keep driving your 1982 Mercury Grand Marquis with bald tires and bad brakes. That's all I'm saying, Delonte, stay off of it. But I can see how it could be a distraction though. I mean, if my mom was sleeping with my coworkers, like it would completely freak me out. Granted, she'd be diking it up with a 45-year-old woman named Flo, but I mean, whatever. That brings me to my segue. I never figured out a good way to segue this. I moved to Akron, Ohio because the recession's so bad that I had to take a job up here to be a lunch lady at a middle school. I'm like Chef from South Park, except I'm fatter with a smaller penis. But it's cool though, because every day when I'm driving to school, I drive by these people and they're outside and they're holding these signs and they have this sign that says, you know, clearance sale, 30% off, you know, come down today, one day only. That has to be the worst job ever, standing out rain, sleet, snow, or shine, holding these signs. I would rather let Ben Roethlisberger take my sister to a Nickelback concert than do this con. <laughs> my God, like, they're paying you to be homeless for eight hours. I just don't understand it. But... Realistically, we're all frugalist spenders and it's a recession, but if we cut it down, we could probably save some uh, money. Women, I think uh, your new exercise equipment, have you guys seen the uh, shake weight? Yeah. This is the new exercise equipment. And basically what it is, it's a dumbbell that works off your arm muscles like this, and they got the commercial, and it's like, hey Becky, I can really feel this working my arm fat off, and I can really feel it all over my chest. <laughs> oh, come on, think about that. It's cool. You don't have to go out and spend this money. You can ask your uh, boyfriend or your husband or something. I'm sure they do let you use their exercise equipment. If not, ask a nice homeless guy or myself. But I can't promise you it'll last the six minutes. My name is Kyle Honworth. Thanks for coming out. I spent too 
much time Straight talk with the catch that acts my line walk Never fetch it for crime Hawk, who goes there? Yo, it's a squeeze of five fingers puffing smoke Did you guys watch that show, Glee? No, neither do I Man, that dude crazy, man Kikula?